Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and I've come up to the UK headquarters of Festal to look at their KS60 double bevel miter saw. And Phil Beckley, their training officer, is going to run us through the features and benefits of this lovely new machine. Hi, Phil from Festal UK, working with the Capex KS60. And of course, with Festal, we can always use a green hose onto the back of the machine. Working with 36mm hose means we have really good dust extraction. So you can put this into position. So the main topic we're talking about is the KS60. If we undo the front handle, we can then swing this around into zero degree position. To unpack the machine from here, we can go onto the side. And remember, anything green on the Festool machine means we can adapt it. To make it work along these two column guides, we can undo the handle and now we can bring this one forward. So the maximum capacity of cut on the KS60 is 60 millimeters in depth, 305 millimeters in width. But of course, bevels and angles are really important. If we undo the handle, we can then swing this around. We can go all the way through to 60 degrees on the right hand side but also 60 degrees on the left hand side. 45 degrees, no problem. It can move into the indentations all the way along here, but for some applications, I may not want this to fall into the indentation. So this lever comes up, goes to the left hand side, and now this will move freely. So I can cut at 46 degrees, no problem. And then all we need to do is to tighten the handle up and then we can make the cut. To bring it back into play, move this over to the right hand side. And now we can go back to the zero degree position and now it's fixed. So working with the CapEx KS60, 60 millimetres depth of cut, 305 millimetres in width, 60 degrees on the right hand side, 60 degrees on the left hand side as well. Of course, working with these two twin column guys means the saw is really compact front to back. So the space at the back, which a lot of other saws use, means we can use this to keep the saw really short. And of course, working on here means that with the CapEx KS60, we can get a really high quality cut each and every time we work with this machine. So I can put this up against the fence along here, but I also need to make sure my timber is supported and also stable while I'm working. So we can use one of the, the clamps of Festool, and it means now that I can clamp through the front, but all, I can also clamp on the back of the material as well. So I could, in effect, use the hole in this position, so clamping on the right hand side, we can go through here, we can go through here and then we can clamp the material in the right place. So I need to make a pencil line where we're going to make the cut. So we can cut in this position here. So next stage is I'll turn the power supply on, we can move the timber over, But there's an easy way of doing this, surely, and there is. On the left-hand side of the saw, we have the LED light. So when we turn this on, we now can see exactly where the kerf line of the blade is going to be. So now I can see clearly exactly where my kerf line with the blade will be. You can bring the head of the saw down, I can move the timber over, and now I know exactly where the cut <coughs> will be made. So again, with Festool, really clear accuracy working with this type of machine. So I can now clamp the timber into position. And of course, working with Festool, as soon as I pull this green trigger, it means that my extraction unit will also start up. And of course, then I can work in a really clean, healthy and professional way. And the cut speaks for itself. The machine goes through really simply and easily. Maximum capacity, 60 by 305 millimetres. So that's the first cut made. We can now get rid of these. Undo the clamp, we can put this to one side, and now we can look at how we can cut angles with the KS60 as well. So before we get to cut the angles on the left and the right hand side, we need to take a slightly closer look at this fence arrangement here. If I undo the screw on the back, I can then move the fence out, and of course it gives me a lot more support on the side as well. With the angles here, when I, when I come to do a bevel cut, it allows allow these column guys to rest up against here and I can move this for the maximum cut, but it also gives me firm support of the material on the side as well. So again, with Festool, simple and easy to use. We can bring the fence back into position and then we can lock this off. So we can move the cut over now to 45 degrees or for an angle. We can move it into this position and now I can lock the, saw, lock the bed of the machine off. And again, clamping is really simple and easy. And again, we can put this onto the back of the fence. And of course, the advantage of using this type of screw clamp is that now my timber's a lot thinner, I can then use a the thread to ensure that the timber's held securely while I'm working.
And so the easy way to look at the quality of the cut is that the piece of timber that we've just made, bring these two together, and you can see all the way along here, we have a nice clean line. And so working with this type of machine produces a really accurate clean cut each and every time. So what about bevels? Bevels are really simple, but for we're cutting bevels or compound angles, I should say, we need to take this fence away and also this fence away. So now I can bevel the saw on the left and also on the right hand side. We can put these to one side. And so to bevel the saw, we can undo this lever at the back. And now we can start to move the head of the saw over to the angle that we're working with. But you can see that when I let go of the saw head, it doesn't suddenly move over. The qual manufacturing quality is really key. So I can set this to the angle that I want to work at. And again, I've got a really clear view of exactly the angle that the machine has been set to. And then with this star clamp at the back, I can then tighten this up. And this is long, so I get really good leverage on the back of there, and then we can lock it into position. So working with the KS60 for cutting bevels or any other angles like this is a really simple, accurate process. So, another quick word on the capacities of the saw. If we swing this back around to zero position, we can lock that in place. We can undo this clamp and then I can bring this up to where we would make a 90 degree cut. Capacities left and right hand side for bevel cuts. We can undo this lever. We can then take it around to 45 degrees and it will rest in that position. Anything green on the festival machine means we can adapt it to suit an application. So here is a small button. I push the button in and now we can go to 47 degrees on the left hand side. Bring it back up, you'll hear the click. Now we're at 45. Bring it back up again, now we go to 90 degree cut. If I push this in again, we can now go to the right hand side and this will go all the way down, now we're at 45 degrees. Push this green button in again and now we can go to 46 degrees. So 47 degrees on the left, 46 degrees on the right hand side, bring it back up into the zero degree position. And so like this, you can work really accurately, you know exactly where the saw is going to be sitting for the cuts that you make. So innovation from Festool. Now we can move on to the angle finder. And if we can take the angle finder from the back of the saw in the storage position, that just clicks into place. We can now bring this back to zero mark. So on occasions, it's necessary to cut dado rails, pitcher rails, or to go around internal or external corners. And finding these angles can sometimes take a bit of time and also be a challenge. But remember, working with Festool, we have solutions for applications. So the next application is working with mouldings. So I can use a moulding such as this, or I could be working with a piece of skirting, and I want to find an angle for an interior or an exterior position. So we can undo this screw here, and then with the two green tabs, we can then unfold the angle finder. So the days of going onto the floor, making two lines, joining them together, finding a sliding bevel, finding the angle, going back to my saw and then cutting it, they're gone. This does all of the work for me. So I can push this to an internal angle. So that could be the angle that I need this set to. I can then tighten this green wheel up. So now that doesn't move. I can then go back onto the saw. I can hold it in this position. We can undo the lever here. And now I can swing this around to the left or to the right hand side. So you can see we'll work on the right hand side. And so I can hold this up against where the fence is positioned. And now we can get rid of the indentation marks in that. And all I'm going to do is line up this, these two white lines with the edge of the bevel. So we've moved this lever up, so it's now not going to slip into the end, any of the indentations. And we can bring this over. So now we just want the edge of the bevel or the angle finder in this position and in this position. So now what I've done in effect is bi bisect the angle. I haven't had to do anything else at all. So I can put this to one side. Of course, the fences have come off, now we need to put these back on, really simple. We can slot those onto the top, tighten these up. We can close the gap up in between here, nice and tight. And I can take the moulding, I can hold this, I can hold this right up against the fence and now we can make the cut on the left and also on the right hand side.
turn the timber over, I can cut the angle on the opposite side. Swing this back to zero, we can now cut the piece of timber into two and then we can see the result that we get. So there's the two cuts that we've made. We now bring these two cuts together and you can see that what we end up with is a really high quality cut each and every time working with this type of material. So with this version of the KS60, this is what's termed the XL version. So with the saw, the adapter plate, this UG stands, so everything stands at 900 millimetres in height. And we also have these two leg extensions. A single leg, because if you're working on an even ground, it means that it's much easier to find good stable support. There's a screw on the back here. We can undo this. And then we can bring this out. We can do this on the left and also on the right hand side. And of course with the scale, we can work really accurately as well. So it now means that I can support timber up to 4.8 metres in length. I can work really accurately because of the scale along here. And of course, it means I can also make repeat cuts because of these stops on the left and also on the right hand side. So to sum up the CapEx KS60, 305 millimetres in width for maximum width of cut, 60 millimetres in depth, 60 degrees on the left, 60 degrees on the right hand side, 47 on the left for a bevel cut, 46 on the right for a bevel cut as well. And working like this you can hold timber at 4.8 metres in length. So working with the CapEx KS60 means you can work cleanly, healthily and of course efficiently within this type of product. So I hope this has helped your understanding of working with the CapEx KS60. I'm Phil and I'll see you again.